thumbnail. All right, let's see if it's going to let me go live this time on YouTube. Yay, I'm live. Did you just pause for the thumbnail? I did. Boutique.net is the website. Hello, YouTube. This is Sheena Diane. You're watching Mommy Boutique. Thanks for joining me. What we do here is we open up oysters and they have real pearls inside. We never know the shape, color, or the size. And sometimes you can even get twins. So it's always a big mystery and reveal at the end. It's really fun. So if you guys want to purchase anything and you see that live red button up at the top of the screen, that means that you can do live orders with us right now going to mommybootique.net. If you don't see that live up at the top of the screen, that means you're watching a replay. So just head over to the website, mommybootique.net, and you can see our show times for what times um, that will be available to do the show. One second, my husband's giving me my meds. <laughs> Give me drugs. All right, so I'm going to go share this video. I'll be back. Thank you, baby. Okay. Hello there. I see you watching. It's so good to see you this evening. All right. So we're going to share this video. <laughs> Let me know what you guys did today. Oh, man. I'm exhausted. I'll tell you guys all about it in just a moment. Okay. takes me a minute to share. That's right. I'm whispering. That's like a thing now. The whole whispering YouTube videos. That's really crazy. I don't know why it's a thing, but it is. And then they'll be like, hello. <laughs> oh, hello over there on YouTube. Nice to see you this evening. I'm just trying to wait for my, my phone to load so that I can um, share my video. Sometimes it lets me, sometimes it doesn't. Just depends on the night. <laughs> depends on the night. Kelly, hello. How are you this evening? Good chatting with you earlier. Your stuff should be to you um, in a couple of days because you're not too far. So it doesn't usually take too long to get there. Okay, let's see what's going on tonight. So I do have some things to talk about, some stuff that we did tonight, today, excuse me. I am exhausted exhausted. We'll wait until a few more people get in here to start chatting. I, I end up repeating myself a lot anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but to save the repeating. <laughs> copy the link. I don't want to copy the link. I want to share it. Oh, thank you for your order, Kelly. I just got it. Yay, Kelly. You are the bomb.com girlfriend. The bomb.com. And I do think that you might be a little bit addicted. Just, just a little. Oh, yay. We have an Edison. Oh, I hope you get another really, really pretty one like you did that. You've seen that other one is gorgeous. Love mailbox surprises. Yay. What is this? Love bug. Love bug, come and say hello. What did I do with my pen? I had a pen. Now it is gone. 
Hold on. I got to find my pen. There it is. There it is. Ooh, Kelly, I'm so excited. I love opening up those Edison's. We also have Edison necklaces. I don't know if you know that or not. Um, we have an Edison bundle, which is $60, and that comes with your Edison necklace of your choice and your Edison. Now, the Edison necklaces, in case you're not aware, I'll show you, which I'm sure you are, but just to chit-chat for you with you in a minute. So this is an example of one of the Edison necklaces. They're really, really big. Oh, you can't see. Let's see if this thing helps. Sometimes this does and sometimes it doesn't. So, Oh, it did help. Okay, here we go. So um, this is an example of it because the Edisons are a lot bigger. And then this particular one has this really cool chime in it. Isn't that cool? It's called, oh, I forgot what it's called. A, a Mexican bola bead. I don't know. It's supposed to be something. It's supposed to mean something or have some type of significance, but I'm not positive what it is, but that's what it looks like. It's a little bit smaller than our, I mean, uh, the Edison's are smaller. That's the Edison. So it's smaller than the bead, but you can definitely fit an Edison in here. And you can also have this cool shiny bead if you wanted this one. So just to let you know, I don't know if you know that or not, Kelly, but we do have the Edison charms as well in case you wanted a place to put your Edison's. Although a lot of the necklaces, I don't know if you know this, but a lot of the necklaces, like these necklaces here, um, these are used with an Edison. So this particular necklace right there with that um, pearl, that is an Edison pearl right there. So you can see it's so big. So a lot of uh, jewelers will actually use the Edison in the big necklaces. Ah, hello, Zana. How are you? Hello, Vicki. It's good to see you this evening. So we have a pre-order tonight. I'm really excited. We're going to play That's My Purse game, which is by far my favorite game in the whole world. Yay. And we have an Edison Pearl opening. Yay. We're going to wait just a few minutes, get some more people in here, let you guys share it. Just getting my gloves ready. Got to tell you guys about my day because it's been crazy, yo. Not crazy bad. It's actually been crazy good, but just really busy. Busy, busy. Okay, so I'm just writing down your guys' names so I'll remember who's here. Zana, I haven't seen you in a little while. Ooh, look at this. We have Raquel tonight. Mermaid Raquel has graced us with her presence. Yay. Hi, Vicky. Do you have a good day today? Hey, warned everybody about losing a signal and oh, okay. you know, what happens if it happens, like, you know, to come back and to get on your phone and warn them about what we're happening. Keep the apps together. Right. Yes. Oh, okay, Kelly. Cool. Yes. I still have to get all my goodies for the drilling. I still have to get better at it. So <laughs> I'm not confident in my skills yet. Hello, Raquel. Um, guys, just a disclaimer. Last time we came on live, um, we had an internet outage, like right in the middle of our opening. We were uh, opening some pearls and completely had an internet outage. So crossing my fingers, that doesn't happen again. But if that does happen, please note I will either let you guys know on my Facebook page, um, you know, what happened. And if I can get on my phone, I will. So like last week was kind of a disaster because um, I, I haven't really got to um, done. I haven't done my phone camera. Uh, I haven't done. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I had not recorded live on my phone. So it was kind of a disaster. I didn't have a place to put it or anything, but um, for the most part, just so you guys know, if we do lose our internet connection, I will try really hard to get back on. So just look, usually I name it take two or whoops or something like that. Internet went out, whatever. So that will be the second video just in case as a disclaimer, cause I don't think I said that the last time and I lost a whole lot of viewers when that happened. So hopefully that doesn't happen again. All right, you guys, let me get my video up so I can see your comments. Cause I can't always see your comments from the computer. 
You did five loads of laundry. Wow. Of Tiffany's laundry. That's a lot of laundry. Oh, Zanna, you've been in Florida. Cool. Oh, so you're home now. Gotcha. Very, very cool. Well, it's good to see you back. I'm glad to see you. Raquel, how have you been? It's good to see you back. And we've missed you on this uh, live feed. Now, I won't be going back to the flea market until October, you guys, because it got really super hot. Plus, it was really slow. And um, I, I kind of just, I wasn't really thrilled with the whole Labor Day because Labor Day is like supposed to be the busiest day of the year, which it was super packed. But um, I wasn't really happy with what the sales that I made that day. So I was kind of like, hmm, I think I'll postpone until like the um, snowbirds come down and uh, maybe we'll do a little bit better. So we're going to go back to the flea market in October and see if that works. Um, if not, then I'll probably ex nay the flea market altogether just because it's so much like for me to have to go with Dominic and him being there for six hours a day, just kind of sitting in his playpen. So it's really hard. Um, so if it's, if it doesn't pay for me to be there, then it's just kind of a waste. You know what I mean? So, yeah. So let me tell you guys a little bit about my day. You guys ready for some story time? It's not really, I don't really have anything to tell, but um, we did go to my mom's house today. Um, and for those of you who've been following, my mom passed away a year and a half ago of a massive heart attack very suddenly, um, very unexpected. She was full of life and love and um, was my best friend as well as my babysitter. So life changed quite dramatically at a very quick pace after she passed away. We've been trying to sell our house for a little over a year and we finally got an offer on it. Thank you, Jesus. And um, it's much less than what we wanted, but at this point, we just really want to sell it. So um, in order to sell it, of course, we have to go and clean out her shed. She has two sheds full of stuff. And um, I pretty much got everything out of her shed that I felt was valuable to myself and to our family. Um, and if, you know, if the sisters, she had four sisters. So if they wanted anything, you know, I would ask them. But pretty much everything out now is trash. So uh, we got a big, huge dumpster, a 20 yard dumpster. And so to date, we got done with one whole shed, um, dumped everything in the dumpster. And then tomorrow we're going to do the other side, the other shed, which is really the big stuff, which is like her table and chairs that we just have no place to put. Um, and I haven't had time to put it on the sell it or anything. And we just really have to get, we have to get it gone because um, we're closing as long as everything goes as planned. We're closing on the 24th, which is coming up really, really quickly. So um, I have to make sure everything is cleaned out and the lawn is mowed and everything by the 24th. So Oh, I'm so sorry, Vicki. Yeah, you've been having a moment, I guess. Um, I've been having them, um, you know, <laughs> on a daily basis. But um, I feel like I should say welcome to my world. But uh, no, it's been it's been really hard. I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, so speaking of the lawn, oh my gosh, it should not be this hard. But four, I have went through four different lawn guys trying to get somebody to mow my mom's lawn. The last guy um, was a friend of a friend and she highly recommended this guy, young guy, I guess he's like, you know, out of college or whatever. Um, and just kind of has his own line business. Well, he's been promising me that he's going to mow, but then he, every time that I'd be like, Hey, well, have you come out there or whatever? He'll say, Oh, my mowers broke down or blah, blah, blah. So finally I got on him and I was like, look, I have to have this place mowed before we sell it. We went out there today and he promised me that he had mowed some of it. We went out there today and it was a jungle. I mean, the, we couldn't even open the gate because the, the grass was so high. Johnny had to like muscle the gate open to get the grass. He literally, my husband, he had a pocket knife, uh, a Swiss army knife. He got the little scissors and he's like, he's like cutting the grass on the gate just so we could open the gate so that the dumpster could get in. Like it is a jungle. And I'm so mad because I was like, why? you know, I'm paying you, like I'm paying you money. It's not like I'm asking you to do me a favor. Um, I'm paying you. And this is the fourth person who said, yeah, yeah, we're coming out to mow it. No problem. And hasn't. And you guys know it's been like raining like crazy. So it's so bad. And, um, we have to clean up the yard, but it's hard for me to even see what's in the yard because 
like the grass is so high, you know, like we're supposed to clean up any knickknacks or anything that she has laying around, which my mom had like pots and um, like little lawn gnomes and stuff, but I can't even see them because it's so high. Um, so yeah, it was really crazy, but that's what we did today. So we're exhausted. Um, Dominic was amazing. He hung out in the house. I gave him his little tablet and he watched his TV cartoons and he was really great. We came in and checked on him every few minutes, but yeah, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And, um, I'm just thankful that we're getting it done. You know what I mean? <laughs> so there's my story. That's what we did today. We'll be back tomorrow. Johnny only gets two days off a week. So um, I'm taking advantage of those two days because I tried to do it on my own um, like a couple weeks ago. And that's that's right after or right before. No. Yeah. After that is when I ended up in the hospital uh, for anxiety. So. I said to myself, I can't do it by myself. Like, and it's not even like a, I can't do it. It's just, I can't do it by myself. I, it's too much. I miss her. There's no one there to talk to, to distract me from the fact that she's not there. And I think that's really what it was when I was around myself is just like, there was no one there to distract me from the fact that she was gone and that I was alone there, you know, uh, with Johnny there, you know, we talk, we joke, we, you know, we, listen to music, you know, we laugh, I check on Dominic. Uh, when I was there completely alone, it was just really hard on me. And so, yeah, I can't do it by myself. <laughs> but hopefully we'll be completely done by tomorrow. That is the goal. Um, I don't know, it's so hot in Florida, you guys. It's like 90 some degrees. So, you know, we work for like 45 minutes straight and then we literally are like, <gasps> <gasps> so we have to go in and chill for like 10 minutes and then we can go back out. So you know how it is. Zana knows she's been in Florida. Um, we actually haven't gotten to that garage yet, Vicki. So um, today was, and I don't know if you remember, but she had two garages, two sheds. There was a red barn one and then the white one where her pump and stuff is at. Um, the white one had like a lot of like knickknacks and um, like all of her uh, laundry detergents, uh, just a whole bunch of stuff like that in there. Empty boxes, a ton of empty boxes, um, just kind of trash. Like it was just really, um, nothing that was really savable in my opinion. Um, so that was what we did today. We got done with that whole shed. We, we had a goal. We were going to do one shed today and one shed tomorrow. So tomorrow will be the day that we get to the big shed. The big shed has like all of her stuff that she had stored in there. Um, so I'll let you know tomorrow if the fabric is usable or not. And I'll take some pictures of it for you so you can see them. So, all right. So you guys, did you share? Oh, we're, lo we're, we're losing viewers here. Got to get some viewers on here so we can open up some pearls. I'm excited. Oh yeah, Zana, I did. Um, it was an anxiety attack. Apparently, I don't know. I've never had one before. Um, but what was happening is my, it was about three or four days after I'd went to my mom's house and moved the stuff and everything. Um, I felt like really bad pressure on my chest. Like it just, it felt like, um, like my heart, like there was something wrong. Like I, I kind of panicked because I was like, Oh my God, I don't want anything to happen to me. So I kind of ignored it, um, all day. And then I went to go pick up the girls and I kept trying to catch my breath. Like, <gasps> like it felt like I couldn't breathe. And, um, and I felt really dizzy, lightheaded. And that's when I was like, you know what? Um, my mom literally just thought she had a heartburn and then she passed away the next day. So, um, to be on the safe side, I'm going to take myself to the hospital. So toted all my kids in the car. We went to the hospital and, uh, after a whole bunch of tests and, chest x-rays and all that stuff. They said that it was anxiety and stress. So that was the first time I've ever been to the hospital for something like that. <laughs> and the doctor was actually quite surprised that I had come a year and a half after she died and not like earlier on. Um, cause he said that this has very, very common for those who lose someone really close to them, usually like a husband, a wife, you know, mom, dad, brother, sister, that kind of thing. Um, so he was surprised that it took me so long to go in, but I told him, I said, you know, I, of course I had a hard time, but this is the first time I felt like my chest was like closing in, like it was really tight. So anyway, I don't want to bring this down, but yes, I did go to the hospital for that, but I'm fine now. I'm good. Um, I know, 
now what it is. And I got some Xanax when I need it. So <laughs> it's always good. I'm doing a sleep test now, you guys, um, for sleep apnea. I wish Missy was here because uh, Missy was telling me all about it. But so last night was my first one. And they do an in-home sleep study now instead of sending you. I mean, my doctor does. Sometimes you can go to the, the, the sleep study place. But my doctor works with this company that will actually send you the machine at home um, so that you're in a more comfortable environment. So that was pretty interesting. I'm uh, curious to see what the test will find after I send it in. So we'll see. <laughs> oh, wow. Because of my mom, Vicki, you'll have to explain a few weeks ago. How would that be because of my mom a few weeks ago? Or was that because of her earlier on? Yeah, she didn't throw anything away. I know. I know. We we are we found so many empty boxes, like just empty. She had empty juice cartons. She cut the top off of them and just had the bottoms, nothing in them. Um, she had so many empty things, like empty, nothing in them. And we're like, why is she keeping these containers? And um, like the coffee containers, nothing in them. Um, just just empty. I guess she was going to use them in the future. Um, hangers and bags and, and all of this stuff. And me and my husband are looking at each other like, why? <laughs> so it just makes me realize what I need not to do because I'm really bad about that too. I keep everything. My husband yells at me all the time. Um, I don't think I'm as bad as that yet, <laughs> but no, I mean, it really kind of opened my eyes to what my kids are going to have to go through one day if I don't start throwing stuff away. So it's good to know. Hey, Kelly, are you still there? You're awfully quiet this evening. Oh, here, let me pen my website to the top. Guys, we are still taking live orders. I know I've been talking about me, so let's get to business. We are still taking live orders. We do have a pre-order that's going on tonight, uh, which will be starting here shortly. So um, let me pin this to the top one second. Okay. So um, you guys, I went ahead and I'm going to continue our, our um, orphan sale. So remember how we were doing that $15 orphan sale? I still have quite a few orphans left and some of them are just really, really gorgeous. And I don't want you guys missing out on them just because it was one day because I know some of you guys were not here on Monday. So because of that, I want to give everybody a chance who wasn't here on Monday to get the orphan pearls for $15. So the reason these are $15 and not the normal 23 is um, there's nothing wrong with them, but this is the company that we decided not to use because they had a lot of marbling. So they had those colors that would be darker in the front, lighter in the back. Um, they had the, the white with the, the like streaks on them and stuff. So we decided not to use them anymore. So what I did is I opened up the rest of them. There was like 21 of them. So as you can see, there's not that many left now. There's two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. There's 15 left um, out of 21. So as you can see, we did, um, we did sell a bunch of them. But I wanted to offer you guys a chance to go ahead and get this as well because this offer is not going to be going on forever. I'm going to go ahead and continue it until the end of the week. So we'll do it until Thursday. That way, everybody who wasn't here on Monday and isn't here today at least gets a chance um, to order. And also, I had a special request to do a Friday party. So you guys will probably see me here uh, Friday evening. In, it would be um, after, it might even be 9.30 on Friday just because we have Girl Scouts. And so we get home late on Fridays. So um, if anybody, if you guys, hey, Allie, what's up, girl? Um, if you guys want me to do live on Friday, give me a thumbs up or let me know. Um, but yes, I did have a request to go on on Friday. So we probably will go live on Friday as well. But then uh, Friday will be the last day to get these orphans for $15. Uh, there is a special way to order these if you want to get one. The way you're going to do it um, is instead of ordering the um, oyster for $23. You're going to order a bangle bracelet. This is a bangle bracelet. These are new. I just got these in guys. So anybody 
who wants a bangle bracelet, you can order. You actually get to pick out your charm or you can pick out one of the charms that are already on it um, if you want. So the bangle bracelets are $15. Um, and what you would do is put that in your cart. And when you go to checkout, just say um, Orphan Pearl. So I'll know that that's what you want. Um, that way I don't have to go back through the website and change anything and add it just because it's only going to be a special thing. So this bangle bracelet, these are $15. Um, you can add a bangle bracelet with your orphan. So if you can do two if you want and just let me know. So if you want to add a bangle bracelet, just say one bangle bracelet, one orphan pearl or two orphan pearls. You know, just let me know what you want. Um, but that's how you order it if you want to do that orphan um, special. OK. We did get our vehicle fixed. Thank goodness. You did. You had a dance performance. That's great, Allie. Yeah, Zana, we did have um, our car fixed. Thank goodness, because um, Johnny, Johnny's car broke down. He was having to use my car. I was stranded for like a week. It was driving me insane. I had to cancel so many appointments and things. Uh, but the mechanic finally fixed his car. We are good to go. My car is fixed up again. He was close to your mom and... He thought he was having a heart attack because I told him what happened. Oh, yeah. Same with me. Yeah. Same with me because of that pressure. I was like, I'm not going to take any chances now that I know that it's something like, well, because when my dad died of a heart attack, he was complaining about muscle pains in his shoulder. So I guess it really affects everybody differently. Um, the crazy thing, Vicky, about that is the day, like the next day after my daughter's birthday party, the, she came to my daughter's birthday party, Kira's birthday party. She left early because she was complaining of heartburn. Um, I called her, you know, like normal. The next day I'm driving to work, Johnny's off work, so she didn't have to babysit. I'm calling her and I ask her how she's feeling and she says, I still have heartburn. And the first thing I asked was, you don't think this is a heart attack, do you? And she said, no, because I'm not getting any muscle pains. And daddy, my dad had arm pains. And she's like, I don't think it's that. And I was like, okay. And I, so I asked her, I was like, you don't think this, because I remember like that conversation after I play it in my head over and over. And I'm like, I asked her if she thought it was a heart attack. So craziness, craziness. Anyway. Yay, my vehicle is fixed. All right, Kelly, are you there? You're awfully quiet. Kelly, if you're here, let me know. And we'll go ahead and get started with That's My Purse Game. You guys, we have That's My Purse Game tonight and an Edison. And if you want to get into the live um, lineup, all you have to do is go over to my website, mommyboutique.net. And then you can get in the lineup for tonight. Yay. Oh, good. Kelly's here. Okay. All right, Kelly. So this is that's my purse game. And I'm going to go ahead and explain it like always, just for those of you who have not been here or if you're watching on the replay um, or it's the first time you're watching. Uh, welcome. First of all, um, at Mommy Boutique, we do a game called That's My Purse. And how it works, it's a $40 game and you pick out whatever purse you want. Yes, you get to keep your purse. Um, I send it to you in the mail. So it is your purse. You actually get to keep it. Inside our prizes, you never know what the prize is, sorry, until we open it. And um, once we open it up, you can decide if you want to keep that prize or trade it for another prize. But once you trade it, you can only do that one time. So the next purse you pick is your purse, even if your first prize was better than your second. You may get a better prize the second time around, but you never know. It is a luck at the draw, luck of the draw, like deal or no deal. So that's how this game works. You get to pick out whatever purse you want and win some prizes. There are prizes in every single purse. So no worries there. You're definitely going to get your money's worth. <laughs> All right. So the first purse of the night, we have this cute gray fox. And it's made out of a felt material. It's very, very cute. It kind of just like pops open. There's no, I got to hide the ticket so you guys don't see it. But there's no like clasp or anything. It just kind of like sits open and you just squeeze the corners to get it to go open. The second one we brought back are awesome red fish. I just love these because they look so real. Uh, Rhonda's husband actually put a um, 
key ring at the bottom of his nose right here. He puts it on his belt loop and he wears it when he's going fishing to put his phone in, which I thought was brilliant. Actually, I should ask her to post that picture. She sent me a picture. I should ask her to post it on my page because it looked really cool. He had his fish um, on his on his on his uh, belt loop with his phone in it when he was fishing. So anyway, there's a fish one. Then of course we have our cute owls. This one is a new one and it says "Love you." <gasps> Amy is here. What is up, Amy? Allie, are you gonna stay on, honey, or you have school tomorrow? Thank you, Amy. I'll definitely get you in the list. And then we also have our kitty cat who's back in the lineup. This is the orange kitty cat with the cute tail and the big, big, big eyes. Then I put our gray cat, cat owl, I don't know, <laughs> the cat owl purse. This is really cool because it does have that clasp that just, um, here, I'll see if you guys can see it from this angle. Okay. Oh, it didn't do it. Oh, there you go. Did you guys hear it? Did you hear it clasp? It like has a magnetic clasp. So when you open it, it will literally like suck it back in and close it for you. You just got done cooking. What did you cook tonight, Amy? And the last one for this evening is an awesome elephant. I think this is our last elephant and it's a change purse. So you put your change in there. One, two, three, four. Five, six. So we have six purses tonight. All right, Kelly, did you see a purse that called your name? All right, Amy, I'll get you in the lineup for our pearl. And Allie, are you here for a while tonight, honey, or do you have to go to bed for school tomorrow? The owl, this one, the one that says, love you. This one is really cute, by the way. It has a wooden fence, so it looks like it's like a um, fence, fences behind it. It's so cute. Oh, it's got some writing on the bottom. To the moon and, it just says to the moon and. <laughs> Okay, all right, let's see what you get. Let's see what it is tonight. <gasps> you got the sissy poo package, three oysters and three necklaces. Ding, 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 ding. Now, you can either choose to keep this purse by saying that's my purse, or you can choose to trade it. Now we know that there's less prizes in there, there may also be some better prizes in there. So it's up to you. It is luck of the draw. So do you choose to keep this purse? Say that's my purse or you choose to trade, which you say trade. Ooh, cube steak and Julian potatoes. Nice. Now I feel really bad because I, I ate fish sticks. <laughs> that's my purse, she says. Wow. Yeah, I'll say wow. Exactly, Kelly. That was a good prize for your first one. Right out of the gate, picking out that good one first up. Wow. All right. So you're going to get the three oysters and the three necklaces. I have to write this down so I don't forget. Three oysters, three necklaces. Okay. And then um, you also have your Edison. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Let me take off my bracelet just because it kind of clings in the way. But yeah, guys, just remember that if you want to order one of these bangle bracelets, um, let me know. It's $15 or you can order the orphan pearls for $15 by ringing up the bangle bracelet and putting in the notes that you want the orphan pearls. And I'll show you those up close in just a, in just a moment. All right. Yay, Kelly, I'm so excited. Guys, we are still taking live orders. The prices are right behind me if you want to get in the lineup for tonight. One oyster is 23, three is 60, and five for 90. You can also do our bundle, which is 32. It comes with an oyster, 
and a necklace or you can do our Edison. The Edison pearl is the bigger pearl, worth more, uh, much prettier in my opinion, because it's like three times the size. So it really, you can see the beauty of the pearl in it. And those are 43, or you can do a bundle, which comes with your Edison and your Edison necklace for 60. All right, so here's our oysters for tonight. And you get to choose three, plus you were the first order of the night, the pre-order, so that means you get one on me. So that actually gives you four. I almost forgot that. So you get four oysters. Four oysters. Oh, wait, did you order? You did order. I think you ordered over 50, didn't you? So that means you actually get another one on me too. Hold on. Let me double check before I start talking out my face. Before I start talking out my face. Yes, you did. So you also get another one for ordering over $50. So she's like banking right now, you guys. So she got That's My Purse game, right? It's a $40 game. And she got Sissy Poo, which is three oysters and three necklaces. That is $90 value. That's how much that package costs. Plus, she was a pre-order. All pre-orders get into a raffle to win a free oyster on me. But because she was the only one, she wins. And then she spent over $50, which means she automatically gets a free oyster on me. So that's going to give her... Three, four, that's going to give her five. <gasps> Woohoo! Five oysters. Good thing I checked that. All right, so five oysters, Callie, that you get to choose tonight. So we have a purple fish. Oh, my goodness, my camera is being so weird. It's just going so blurred. Okay, so a purple fish, a yellow and blue fish. Um, a galaxy cat. I know it doesn't quite fit. <laughs> just, just go with it. An orange fish. A water drop splash. A pink fish. And last one is a paint palette. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just using the stickers, using the rest, some of the rest of my stickers. So <laughs> don't judge me. Stickers are random tonight. So you get to choose five. Wow. Five oysters. That's craziness. Crazy. Crazy for feeling so lonely. Oh, I'm crazy. Oh, Kelly, I don't know if the comments are lagging on your end. I'm not seeing your comments here. All right, I'm going to show you again just in case. Is my connection okay? Because it looks like Kelly actually got booted off there. She was on YouTube and now she's not. Oh, there you are. Okay. Purple fish, yellow, and blue fish. Okay, so we got a purple fish, yellow, and blue fish. Orange, pink fish, and the paint palette. You got it, girly. See, so you guys can win big when you play that game. One, two, three, four, and five. Perfect. I'm actually going to take the stickers off so that I can reuse them. Because, you know. Waste not, want not. Yeah, that's the that's the mentality that got my mom to be such a hoarder. Just kidding. She wasn't a hoarder. Although she did keep a lot of trash, I will admit. I didn't see your comments there for a minute, Kelly, so that's why I was getting worried. Okay, you guys, are you ready? You guys ready? We're going to be opening up some oysters. I'm so excited. What colors are you hoping to get tonight, Kelly? Move my phone out of the view here. Yeah. Purple and blues. Okay, well, usually when you pick out a color, like they go crazy and give you that color. So the one time you were like, I want to get pinks, and like every single color was pink. So hoping for some purple and blues tonight, you guys. 
Vicky, where did you go? I see Amy still here. Ooh, some of these look really cool. I'll have to show you the camera. Show them to the camera. And I'm pretty sure, you guys, these are my um, my regular. The normal oysters. We're uh, using the one that we're actually going with now. Um, I think what I'm going to do with the other ones that we're not such a fan of is give those, like, like whenever we do prizes and stuff, maybe um, give those away in the prizes. So I can still use them, but not use them for my main stuff. You know what I mean? All right. So this one's really cool because it's got some cool seaweed on the side there and some shells on the front. This one has some seaweed on the back and some really weird looking stuff on the bottom there. Hello, Beth. How are you this evening? It's good to see you. Where are you from? Tell me who invited you. I'm so glad to have you here. Okay, so then this one, kind of cool looking. A little bit of seaweed on the back there. Some more seaweed on this one. And look at that cool looking barnacle on the front of that one. And this one's got some cool coloration. It's a light on the bottom. That dark stripes on top. All right, here we go. We're hoping for some purples and some blues. We're going to put some seashell sheena juice on it. <laughs> I got to come up with a different sound. Some, I don't know. And we'll tap it three times for luck. Here we go, guys. For Kelly's pearls. Let's see what we can get out of here if I can open it. Always the hardest part is finding the opening here. All right, now, come on. There you are. Ugh. Okay. Oyster number one. What's it going to be? <gasps> A purple. Yes, a beautiful lilac purple. Look at that. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Crikey. It's a beaut. Let's make sure there's only one. Yep. Yeah, look at how juicy that one is, Amy. Amy and I were talking the other day with some of the other oysters that we had ordered. Um, they were really, really dry for the ones that had the discoloration. Uh, this company... This is company number two, the one that we decided to go with exclusively. They, their oysters are very, very moist. I hate that word, but um, you can tell the difference for sure. Okay, anyway, moving on. Yay, our first purple. All right, number two. Here we go. <gasps> a ruby red slipper. This is the color that I want to put on my crab ring. Oh, I cannot wait until I can get one of those for myself. This is the exact color. I think that would look so gorgeous on that crab ring that I designed, you guys. Look at that ruby red. Gorgeous. No twins in this one. Nope. Ruby red. Those things are gorgeous. I love those reds. <laughs> Trying to saw it open. There we go. Ugh, gotta cut the back of it. Isn't that beautiful, Kelly? All right. Number three. Ooh, a white. It looks like a white. Yep, looks like a white. I don't know if you can see it in the camera because it is white. It's right there. We'll clean it off for you. 
Get it all cleaned up and nice. How are you doing this evening, Beth? Welcome to the party. Hopefully you enjoy watching Oyster Shucks. <laughs> All right, and this is number four. Number four, and let's see what we're getting tonight. We got oh, twins. Ding, 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 ding. They look like, ooh, like a pretty sky blue, it looks like, from this angle. They may actually be a little bit more teal. I'll look once I clean it off. But to this angle, it looks like a sky blue. Really gorgeous. You were hoping for some blues and some pinks. Or and some purples, I'm sorry. Some blues and some purples. And that looks like it might be a sky blue. I got to check it once it's all cleaned. Awesome. Twins. Ding, 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 ding. All right, last one, Kelly. trick is you got to cut that skin that's connecting it without hurting the pearl <laughs> it's definitely an art and I see some people and they make it look so easy and here I am struggling every time all right last one is ooh, I think that's a champagne a beautiful champagne color it's like an orangey Really, really pretty. Okay. Let's clean them off really good so we can see them. All right. Start out with this beautiful purple. Beautiful lilac purple. Very, very light. Really gorgeous color. I'm really liking this one. Okay, it is a 6.6 .6 on that one. Six point six. Okay. Next up we have our ruby red slipper. This one is gorgeous. I love those ruby reds. We don't get a lot of ruby reds, but when we do get them, I mean they are just like popping. Six point one. Then we have I'll do other twins last. We have this one looks like it is a you know what? Now that I'm looking at it, it kind of looks like it might have a little bit of a yellow tint to it. And it's got a little bit of um some little tiny divots. Um, little marks where it was creating the oyster, it looks like. Yep, little tiny ones. And it looks like it might actually have a little blemish, like a belly button or a beauty mark, I like to call it. 6.5 on that one. So it's like a, a white with a little tint of green. You'll see it in the white sand and then we'll be able to tell for sure. Patty Howard, how are you this evening? It's good to see you. You're just in time to watch our pearl party. We got twins. All right, let's check out these twins and find out the color. Yep, I'm going to say these are sky blue. They look like they might have a little bit of a green tint to them. But as I'm looking, it's almost more of a silvery blue. So I'm going to go with sky blue on this one. And a 6.7 on that first twin. Okay, and for the second twin, six point seven. They're exactly the same size twins, right there. Six point seven. So those would be perfect for earrings. I can actually drill you earrings if you want. I do have the stuff to do that, Kelly. I'm just not confident in my skills yet to do it 
now, but I can always do that for you in the future if you want. So look at this, Kelly, gorgeous colors right here. I'm gonna let my camera focus. Hello, Miss Patty, says uh, Vicki. There we go. Look at those colors, they're gorgeous. I am in love. This is a really beautiful lineup tonight, Kelly. Let's see if I can make it any better with my lens. I don't know. Sometimes it actually makes it worse. So hold on. <laughs> Let me see. Did I make it worse? Okay, there we go. So now you can really see that lilac color next to that ruby red. And then the white right there. Not an angel white, more of an off-white color. Oops, it's blurring. Hold on. There we go. And those beautiful twins, those sky blue twins right there on the end, have a little bit of a grayish green, but definitely more of a blue tone to it. Congratulations, Kelly. Your pearls are gorgeous. Those are so beautiful. I love them. All right, we're going to take a quick photo for the Facebook. Get them all nice and pretty. Okay. Did I miss one, Vicki? She did have one, two, three, four. Oh, you're right. Did I miss one? I must have missed one. I think she only picked out four. She knew magic. Yeah, you were supposed to get five. Vicky's right. One, two, three, four. So I actually owe you one more. Good call, Vicky. I thought I thought we had picked out five. I guess not. Let me see. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we did pick out five. So what? Did I miss one? Hold on. That's very odd. <laughs> did did one of them disappear? Did we have a did we have an oyster disappear? Am I missing something? One, two, three, four. Yeah, you should have had five. Where's your fifth one? That is so weird. All right, you're gonna have to pick out another one because but there's five stickers gone. One, two, three, four, five. That is really strange. There's some voodoo magic going on on here. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to pick out another one, Kelly, because um, Vicky's right. You are, you are missing one, but this one's really cool. Let's do this one. This one actually has like a shell on it. You want to do that one? It's got like a shell on it. The white one. Yeah. But the white one's right there. See the white one's right. I think, did I miss it in the thing? Hold on. Hold on. I did. I did. You're right. It's a champagne. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Vicki. I was about to open up another one thinking that I was like crazy because I was like, I know I had five there. I counted five. Okay. My bad. We had a champagne. There was a champagne that we missed. Good eye, Vicki. Thank you for looking out. Okay. So this one is a 6.5. It was in the water, just sitting there like, hello, hello, don't forget about me. Now we're ready. Okay, let's do that again. <laughs> oh, man, if my head wasn't screwed on. All right, here we go. Look at those beauties. Okay, so we're gonna put this on it again and do that one more time. So yeah, that champagne, that's the one that we were missing right there on the end. Let it focus for a second. Come into focus, come into focus. There we go. I 
kind of in focus. I'm trying. Sometimes this camera will do it and sometimes it won't. All right, so we have that champagne. That was the one we were missing. Then that beautiful purple lilac. The red ruby slippers right there. We have the white, it's like an off-white. And then those twins. Thanks again, Vicki. I appreciate that. You know, in this light, the twins look more of a green. But when I was looking at them before, they looked more of a blue. Like a blue-green. All right. Woohoo! I'm glad we found them because I was like, what in the world? I thought I was going crazy, you guys, because I know I counted. I was like, I double counted because... <laughs> Thank you, Zana said they're beautiful. One is gone. Yes, there is one missing. Thank you, guys. You guys are all on it tonight. Thank you. All right, Kelly, we're going to take a picture really quick for the Facebook, and then we'll move on to your Edison. Yes, we found it, y'all. Thank you. You guys are on it. I am glad that you guys got my back like that, let me tell you. All right, I'm going to leave them in here because we're going to do our Edison next. Okay. So for the Edisons, the stickers I have are um, cute little uh, crayons. It was in the bowl, yeah. Sorry, Kelly. Um, <laughs> so sorry. Okay, so here's your Edison's. We have a purple crayon, a red crayon, a blue crayon, and a yellow crayon. So we have the purple crayon. These are the Edison's. And just so you guys know, if you haven't been here before, you want the purple. Um, an Edison is a pearl that is about two to three times the size of a normal pearl. The way that they get that way is that they put a bigger size um, bead in the mantle uh, or in the, in the um, yeah, in the mantle of the pearl. So what they do are the, I'm sorry, the oyster. Thanks, Sheena. So the open up the oyster just a tiny, tiny bit when it's three years old and they place this little bead. Um, if it's a colored bead, a lot of times you'll get the colored pearls, but they'll place a little bead in the mantle of the oyster. With the Edison's, they place a bigger bead and they leave it in there longer. So the Edison's are actually worth more, just so you guys know. And in my opinion, they're much prettier. I cannot stop looking at them. You know what, Zana? It is so hard for me to keep from opening them. I like the other day um, on Monday, I literally had an opening frenzy. <laughs> I opened up every single oyster that we had from the other company that we weren't working with anymore. Um, and basically that was for my own selfishness because I just wanted to open them. So <laughs> it is really hard for me not to want to open all of them. I'm not going to lie. Joby, stop. Joby's pushing her in her bowl. Johnny? Can you get Joby some water? She's like growling and pushing around her bowl. Um, I know she is. Do you want a purple in this one? What color are you hoping to get? She's like my other woman in this house. <laughs> yeah, my dog Joby, when she's thirsty, she literally like hits her water bowl like as hard as she can across the floor so it makes noise. And then if I don't pay attention to her, she'll be like, and then hit it again and like scoots it. Like I have to listen. <laughs> you want a purple? Okay. All right, good luck. We're gonna hit it one, two, three for luck for a purple. <laughs> Hoping for a purple Edison. This is awesome because it's already opening. I love that when that happens. Did you just hit it four times? <laughs> Ooh, it looks like another champagne color, almost like a 
Oh, almost like golden. Gosh, is that gold? Kind of hard to tell. It's not as translucent as your last one. That last one was to die for. Uh, this one looks more of a golden champagne color, but we'll wash it off. I won't forget it in the bowl this time. Look at how pretty this shell is of this one. There's mother of pearl right there. So gorgeous. Thank you, honey. She was like very loud. Can you try to be part of the show? I know. Let's clean this off. Are these all the ones they got today? No. This one over here. Ah. Oh, look how pretty. Aren't those pretty? I like that red one. I know. That red one is to die for. To die for. Because it's like... Um, I haven't seen Edison twins, Zana. I mean, I'm sure it's a possibility, but I think the whole thing with the Edisons and the reason that they're worth more um, is because they actually can only fit one per um, oyster. Plus, um, when it's just one, the the uh, NACRA, which is that shine, is a lot better because it's not having to share it with others. So I think that they usually only put one. I'm, I'm sure it's a possibility to get more than one. But I've only seen one. Let's see what size you are. Ooh, a 10.2. Hello, Nicole. It's good to see you. All right, so I'm going to put this Edison on the other side just so we can get a really close view of it because it is gorgeous. And I'm going to say it's a gold, a golden champagne because it's definitely more of a, has that more of a champagne-y look to it. Isn't that beautiful, Amy? Here, we'll bring it up a minute and so put that filter on it so you can see it a little bit better. The one thing, can you guys see me in the pearl? Look at this. The one thing I love about the Edisons, the shine, which is called the knacker. Look at that. The luster around this pearl, you can actually see me through it. It's like a mirror. It's so cool looking. I love it. You can definitely see that golden tone on this one. Beautiful, Kelly. Another gorgeous, gorgeous one. Oh, sure. You can get the shell. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. I think this is the one. Yep. I only I only give out the top half of it just because the bottom half of it has that fat in it. It's really hard to get off. But yeah, I'll clean off the top for you. Absolutely. You are so welcome. All right, now I'm going to put them all together so I can get a really good shot for your Facebook photo. Johnny's playing with the dogs. Can you guys hear him? Sierra, what's up, girl? Good to see you this evening. Let me show you the beauties that we just got. i got to take a picture of this. You can see me. You can actually see my, my um, image, my phone, in the picture of that gorgeous Edison. I'm going to go lay down. You're going to go to bed? Yeah. Good night, love. Right, My husband is going to bed. We are we are exhausted, you guys, because we've been working like crazy. All right. One last time. We'll look at this. Okay. So we have the champagne, that beautiful lilac. The ruby red slippers. We have that 
mother of pearl or off white right there. And then the two beautiful sky blue twins. And then right there in the back is a golden champagne Edison. There's your screenshot. It's gorgeous. My gosh. You do a great job with picking out your oysters, girl. Let me tell you what. Beautiful. We're doing great tonight, Nicole. Thank you for joining us. Aren't those gorgeous? All right, guys, we are still taking live orders. Just so you know, if you want to get in the lineup for tonight, all you have to do is go over to mommyboutique.net. Um, we do have a sale going on. Um, it is our orphan sale, and I'll tell you guys about it in just a second. Um, we have, yay, we have an order. Okay, hold on. Let's see what it is. We have, that's my purse game. Woohoo! From Xana. I love, that's my purse game, you guys. One of my favorites. Okay, so let me put all your pearls away, Kelly. And let me tell you guys about our sale that we're doing right now for our orphans. So we have an orphan sale going on for a particular orphans. Um, it's the company that the first company that we decided um, we weren't going to go with because they had a lot of marbling in their pearls. So what we did on Monday is we opened up every single one of them and um, we decided to sell them for $15 a piece. So um, if anybody, yeah, that ruby red is gorgeous, isn't it? Excuse me. So if anybody wants any of those orphan pearls, I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, they are $15. Just let me know and I'll tell you how to do it. I'm putting your orphans. I'm sorry, not your orphans, your twins in a separate bag. Kelly, just so you know. Yes, that's my first game is so fun. I love it. I'm going to come up with some new games too, because I want you guys to be able to kind of have some variety. So if you guys can help me think of games, I watch those Pearl parties all the time. Um, and a lot of them have some really unique games. So um, if anybody can think of games to, you know, help me out, I would love it. See our new bags, our pink bags. I think you guys have seen them before because I've put stuff in them. But aren't these cute? Oops, I got two. Aren't those cute? They have like a little pink backing to it with the little, I don't know what it is, like designs. I just think it's cute. So anytime you guys order from me, you get one of these really awesome bags. It may not be this particular one, but every time you order, you get one of these little, um, what are they called? I forgot what they're called, the jewelry bags. They're called something. <laughs> All right. So Kelly, you already know the drill. Just go over to um, my Facebook page and pick out whatever jewelry you want. You get to choose three um, and then let me know what they are. What you do is um, underneath underneath the picture, um, let me know that's the one that you want. It's just easier for me to go back when I'm, when I'm getting all your stuff ready. It's easier for me um, if you comment on the picture because then I can search it. All right. Yay. So let me show you guys our orphans. So the orphans that we have on sale right now are right here. Let's see if it'll focus for you. So we started out with 21 orphans and uh, now we are down to, what did I say? 18. Let's see. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 15. We're down to 15. These are $15 a piece, guys. The reason is because, um, not because there's anything wrong with them, just because this was the last of that one, the first company that we decided not to go with because they had a lot of discoloration in their pearls. Um, the pearls are still worth the same. They're probably not worth as much um, if, you know what I'm saying? They're not worth as much as one that was like without the blemishes and stuff, but um, they're still pearls, so they're still beautiful. So some of them have darker colors on the front and lighter colors on the back, like that pink one there is really dark in the front and light in the back. Those purple twins are lighter uh, on the back and darker in the front. But these right here, all of these, starting with that reddish one on the end, there's a gray one. 
Uh, we did sell the black one. We had a black one. And then the rest, which is a peacock color right there. Those are perfect. There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. There's no discoloration. They are gorgeous. Um, you can see that sheen and that shine on them as I'm going past them. So the, really, those don't even have to be discounted. I'm just discounting them because they were part of that company's pearls. So those right there are beautiful. All of them are beautiful, as you can see. So we have those oranges and yellows at the back there, some light, like some really light greens, that really dark pink, those purples right there that could pass as twins. So there you go. If you guys want any of those, they are $15. Uh, we'll be doing this sale until the end of the week. Um, and we are actually going to be doing a Friday party by request. So um, if you want to be here on Friday, we'll be doing that as well. If you want to purchase one of those, it's not on the website because this is just a special sell. Uh, what you would do is you would purchase a bangle bracelet. And these bangle bracelets are $15. If you actually wanted a bangle bracelet, you can get one as well. Um, and you choose your charm. But you, you check out a bangle bracelet. And just in the notes, let me know. Uh, this is for the Orphan Pearl. So it's the same price. And that way I don't have to update the website or change anything. Okay. Awesome. Oh, Kelly, I forgot to ask you, did you want to trade for any of your pearls? I'm so sorry. So before we go on to um, Zana, these are the pearls that you can actually trade for, Kelly. Are you still here? You can also trade your, um, your pearl for this one, but it's almost a very similar color. This one's more of a yellowish um, Edison. But anyway, so here is the orphans. If you want to trade any of them, you can always trade. So just let me know if you wanted to trade you have that light white color and also that champagne color. You can always trade the red one if you want because, you know, <laughs> nobody likes the red one. Just kidding. I was going to steal it. So these are our orphans if you wanted to trade. We have those two white ones on the end that almost blend in with the salt. They're so angel white. That really beautiful like rose pink. That one looks more like a peacock or maybe a mermaid green. I can't really tell. It looks like we have some champagnes in there. Um, I don't know if that's a black. No, it's a peacock. So the peacocks are has all different shades of colors in it. And it looks like you might actually have a gray right there on the end as well. I moved it and now it's blurry. All right, Kelly. So let me know if you wanted to trade. Um, anytime that you order pearls from me, you guys, if you don't like the color that you get, you're not stuck with it. You can always trade for one of our orphans. Now, also, guys, for those of you who haven't been here before, uh, we also do a raffle every single night that we're live. Um, and what we do is we raffle off one of our uh, freshwater or um, <laughs> I can't talk our freshwater pearls tonight. Um, and basically the difference between the two sets of pearls, cause as you can see, the other ones are more round. Freshwater pearls are made without a bead. So that means that they're not going to be as round as the saltwater pearls. Also saltwater pearls are worth more money because it takes them longer to, um, make. So they're worth a little bit more. So these are our freshwater pearls. They are not made with a bead. They're made with like a shell or a piece of rock. Um, so they kind of come out all different shapes, all different sizes. Still really cool. Some of them look like bullets. Tonight we have two whites and a peach. So guys, if you want to win one of these, there's no purchase necessary for that raffle. All you have to do is like Mommy Boutique. You have to share this video on your Facebook wall or on any groups that you belong to that will let you. I don't want you to get in trouble, but make sure you share it publicly because I have had a lot of people share it privately and then I won't be able to see it if I'm not on your friends. So make sure that you share it publicly and then come back and let me know that you shared it or say hello. And then you have to be here when I call your name at the end to win. All right. Zana. Zana, Zana. You are next, my friend. Zana, are you ready for 
That's my purse. I don't know you. That's my purse. Yay, she's ready. All right. Now, if you have seen a purse that you really, really like, Zana, and you don't see it in the lineup tonight, you can let me know. I will switch it out for you. Um, I can't promise it's going to be a great prize that's in your purse, but um, I will switch it if you see one that you really, really like. And so, guys, I know you were here earlier, but just in case some people are just popping in like Sierra and um, Raquel. So, Nicole, if you guys have never seen how this game is played, this is how it works. It's a $40 game. You can go right on the website and order it. It's called That's My Purse. What you do is you pick out your purse. So we have a whole bunch of different purses for you to choose from. You do get to keep your purse. I send it to you in the mail. Uh, so it is your purse. You pick out your purse. Let's say she wants the Fox one. I open it up, and there is a prize inside. So I read you the prize. Now, you get to choose whether you want to keep that prize, and then you would say, That's My Purse. Or if you want to trade it, you get one chance to trade. So let's say you trade it for the fish. We open up the fish and see the prize. Now, if the prize is less than your first prize, you are stuck with it. If the prize is more than your first prize, you're still stuck with it. So once you choose your second purse, that is it. You cannot choose back even if your first prize was better. So that's how it works, guys. Now, let's play. Hello, Don. How are you this evening? All right, so our first purse is this cute felt box made out of felt, really cute. Got that little top that you just push the sides in and it opens just like this. I would recommend using it maybe for lighter purse days. I wouldn't put a bunch of stuff in it because it might fall out. Definitely cute for like a cosmetic bag. And then of course we have our red fish. Look at the detail on this fish, let me tell you. And as I told you guys earlier, uh, funny story, Rhonda's husband actually uses his bag as a cell phone case, uh, cell phone holder when he's fishing. So that's kind of funny. We have this cute cat and look at her tail, orange cat with the stripes. Look at her face, so cute. So much detail on these purses. Cute. We have a gray cat owl. We call it a cat owl because we could not decide on if it was a cat or an owl. I called it a cat. You guys called it an owl. Can you leave it on my side of the bed? Thank not you. Not in the bathroom? No, because I got to do it in the bed. Can you see in the bathroom? Okay, yeah, leave it in the bathroom. Thank you. Sorry, my husband. It's my sleep test that I have to take. So. And then lastly... We have this cute elephant change purse. This is the last elephant change purse that we have. Really cute. And it just pops open and closes. It's got some cute little stripes on it with the flowers going up. It's the same on both sides. You want to do the cat owl. Woo -woo! All right. So this is really cute because look at a little handbag. And the, um, the little thing is magnetic. So when you open it, it will close. Hold on. Did you hear it? It will click on its own, which is kind of cool. All right, let's see what you got. Ooh, a bundle, which comes with one oyster and one necklace. This is a great prize. One oyster and one necklace plus this awesome purse. Now... It's up to you. Is that my purse? Say that's my purse or say trade. Once you trade, you can't go back to it and you're not going to get this purse again. So do you want to say that's my purse or trade? You got the bundle. It's one oyster, one next $32 value. Hey, my video went away. The pressure, the pressure, she says. I know, it's really hard. Should I show you all the other purses again so that you can make a good decision? Let me get my comments back up so I can see you. You want to trade it. Okay. Now, if somebody else plays this game, I do trade everything around so they're not in the same purse. So if you pick this, it's not going to be a bundle again. All right, so 
She's trading. We have the gray fox. We have the elephant, the fish, and the cat. The cat face. This one is so cute. I really love this one. Okay. And you got a mini shuck. That's three oysters. So you trade it up, girl. Yay! So the mini shuck is the three oysters for $60. So that is definitely more value. You got a great deal there. Three oysters. Good job, girl. Yay! All right. Congratulations. Here we go. Get your oysters. Mix them up so we got some good ones in here. Okay, let me put my stickers on them. I know the stickers are kind of random tonight, you guys. <laughs> they they don't have a theme. I was going with fish, but, you know, had some extra stuff. So, All right. So you get to choose three oysters. And we'll start out with Nemo. Oop, he's backwards. A backwards Nemo. That's what he looked like when they flushed him down the toilet. There we go. We have a Nemo. We have a pink and yellow fish. We have a purple fish. Also backwards, my bad. A yellow and blue fish. A splash. Usually splash means bad in my book, right? Because when we play the games. Oh, Kelly, we forgot to play your game. Um, <laughs> we also have the... Um, Cat Galaxy. I am all over the place tonight. And then the palette. You got so many good stuff, Kelly, that I forgot. Because usually when you do That's My Purse game, you don't get to play another game. But then you ordered an Edison, so that automatically gets you a game. So don't go anywhere because you'll be playing a game next. The Nemo. All right, the Nemo. Where'd you go? Nemo, Purple Fish, and the Galaxy Cats. You got it. Off the stickers and we double check right we always double count that's why i was so confused when i only had four before because i was like i know i double count those things I'm telling you what you know i noticed and actually it's funny because some of you guys actually said some things to me but when i go to my mom's house or like when i've had a day where i'm dealing with something that has to do with my mom you guys always tell me that you're like i could tell you're off totally gets me completely off but a couple of you guys have told me that in the past that you can tell all right so what color would you like to get tonight what colors Zana would you like to get tonight so just double counting one two and three We got a stinky one, a purple and a blue. Oh, okay, we got some purple and blues in here. You and Kelly, you and Kelly want those purples and blues. Well, Kelly definitely got her purples and blues, so hopefully you will too. All right, some seashell, she seashell Sheena juice on it. Ooh, look at that big barnacle coming off of his butt. That thing is like really weird. You see it? It's really creepy looking. Like a witch with a big wart. 
This one's juicy. This one must be the stinky one. This one has some shells on it. All right, here we go. For luck. When I first started doing this, I actually had a sheet that I printed out that told you what the colors meant. Like pink was for love and black was for prosperity and all kinds of stuff. I should print it out again. It's somewhere. It's It got lost somewhere. But that was kind of fun. I should do that again. All right. Number one, now let's see what you get. Ooh, a pink, a pink. We got a pink. A beautiful baby doll pink, too. Yep, baby doll pink. I love that color pink. I think out of all the pinks, the baby doll pink is probably my favorite. I do love the Barbie pink, which is like a really, really darker, like almost like a hot pink. But the baby doll pink, I think, looks beautiful in those pearls. So you got your pink, girl. Tap it three times for luck. See if we can get a purple. Oh, wait. Yeah, you want? did you want a pink? Oh, no, you didn't want a pink. You wanted a purple and a blue. My bad. <laughs> but you got a pink anyway. All right. Oh, what is this one? Looks like a white. We got an angel white. You like them all anyway? Good. And if not, you can always trade. That's the fun of it. Okay, so check this out. It looks like a tongue. Do you guys see this? Right here. This little thing. That's that's its little tongue. Crazy, right? And just some history about oysters, you guys, just so you know. Because I get a lot of people who... I like you kill these things. Um, oysters actually have the same nerve endings as plants. So when you eat an oyster or when you when we um, harvest an oyster, they don't have brains or feelings like animals. They're not even considered an animal. They're like a crustacean. So just so you guys know, are not even that. They're um, oh my gosh, I can't think tonight. My brain is like completely gone. But anyway, just so you guys know. They are considered more of a plant than an animal. Crazy that a plant could create such a beautiful gem. Ooh, is this a purple or is this a silver? I want to say this is a purple. It's almost like a darker purple. I can't think of the name of the color. Um, it's got a sil It's like a silvery purple. You guys have to help me think of the name. No twins tonight. Okay. Got that pink one first. Let's clean it off. So she's not perfectly round. Most of them aren't. She's got a little tiny, like, kind of a um, bump on the top of her head, like a cone head. <laughs> She's a 6.6, 6.7. She just changed on me. Sterling. A sterling silver. Okay, and do this white one right here, that angel white. Beautiful. White is still the most popular pearl. It's also said to be the most valuable. A 6.4. And last one. It is like a purpley silver, really, really pretty. Um, almost like, what is it called? Um, uh, it's periwinkle, like a periwinkle. That's it. That's the name, periwinkle. 
I was, <laughs> I was trying so hard to think of it. I was like, I know I've seen this color before. What is the name of it? It's a periwinkle. So it's like a bluish grayish purple. All right, let's look at this up close and personal. Let me get it lined up for you. Woo, look at these colors, so pretty. Move it up a little bit so I can see the light. Oh, Beverly said she is all buckled up for the storm. Six cars all gassed. Oh, yeah, that's right. That storm's coming uh, towards North Carolina. Hopefully, it will pass them by. Hopefully, it'll pass us by as well. Oh, wow. Look at that. You can really see those colors shine. See that beautiful baby doll pink right there. You know what? It's an off white. I thought it was an angel white, but look at that. And you can actually see that more yellowy color. So this is definitely an off white. All right. Come on, camera. And then that beautiful periwinkle right there on the end. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, Dan. I love it. You absolutely can see the orphans. Absolutely. Okay. Let me move yours over and get the orphans for you. So these are the orphans that you can choose from. Okay. Bring the camera back down. So just ignore the Edison there in the back. So what you got right here, um, we'll start over here on the whites. So we have those two whites there on the end. You do have that really pretty rose pink. So it's a little bit deeper than your pink. Right next to it is a mermaid green. And let me see. That is a champagne right next to that. The other one is. Oh, that one looks like another mermaid green right next to it. Or it could be a peacock. And then that gray one and the other one on the end looks like it is a, oh, it's like a lighter green. Might see it better if I put this on it. Sometimes these bring out the colors a little bit better. Yeah, there you go. You can see the white one's a little bit better with that on there. So these are the orphans. Anytime you guys order a pearl from me, if you don't like the color that you get out of your oyster, you can always trade it. Or you can always just pick out your pearl and uh, it's the same price. So it's $23 for these orphans. Or you can just open your own. For the mermaid green, you got it, girl. You sure you want to trade that pink? It's pretty. All right, the mermaid green is this one right here. Ooh, that is gorgeous, though. Holy cow, that mermaid green is pretty. Okay, wait until you see that mermaid green up close next to your other ones. It's really pretty. I just got to give it a second. Sometimes it just takes a minute for it to focus. The mermaid is really, really pretty. I will agree with that. All right. If you want to cooperate with me, camera, that would be great. So um, if you want to cooperate with me, that would be great. 
<laughs> it really doesn't want to cooperate with me. It is like literally fighting me. What the heck, you guys? <sighs> Maybe I'm mean to my camera too much. Maybe if I like tell it nice things. Camera, you're so awesome. You always work and you never blur. Hey, that actually worked. Okay, note to self, talk nice to your camera. Not sure how good you can see it. You just have to let me know. Yay, she says she loves them. They are very, very pretty. And that off-white looks really nice, too, especially in the sand. You can see it pop. It's one way I can always tell if I have an actual angel white or an off-white because um, when I have the angel white, you can almost not see it. Yay, congratulations. All right, Kelly, if you're still around, don't go anywhere because we got to play a game. We forgot. Usually... Um, the reason why I didn't play a game with Kelly is because she did that's my first game and we don't play a game when she already got that. But she also purchased an Edison, which means she also gets to play a game. So she may win even bigger. She got the Sissy Poo package, which is one of the really big ones. The camera does not do that mermaid justice. Zana, I can't wait till you see it in person. It's got a really pretty like luster to it where it kind of like shines and changes colors. So I can't wait for you to see it. Congratulations, girl. Beautiful. That periwinkle is really pretty too because it's just like a subtle purple color. Guys, we are still taking live orders. If you're interested in ordering, just head over to mommyboutique.net. We do have That's My Purse game, which is a $40 game. And as you saw with Kelly um, and with Zanna, um, definitely worth it. She got the Mini Shuck, which is $60. And um, Kelly got the Sissy Poo, which is $90 package. So uh, it's definitely worth it. And then you also get to keep your purse, and it's fun. All right, Kelly. So what would you like to play tonight? You can either spin our spin wheel. You can do our shell game, which is where you pick a number um, and there's prizes on the back of the shell. Or you can do our animal game, which is where you pick an animal and there's colors on the back of the shell that give you a prize. So sorry about that, Kelly. It's because we were playing that purse game. So I like automatically when we were playing the purse game. I'm like, oh no, of course, you know, she's Done the first game, so my bad. My bad. I'm so sorry. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I lost one of your pearls, and then I forgot to play the game. What is up with me? Oh, that is odd. Okay. So, Zana, you're able to chat, but everyone else is saying that they can't chat over there on Facebook for some reason. Hello, Angel. How are you? You just got out of work? Oh, my goodness. Heading home. Well, hopefully you're not driving and watching my video at the same time. That could be really bad. You just missed it. We just opened up a ton of really pretty pearls. All right. Hold on. I'm getting the shells out for you. All right. We have... One through ten. Yeah, that is really weird. I'm not sure why it's not letting you comment over there, Vicki. I'm sorry. You know, Facebook is very finicky. So, guys, just a disclaimer. If Facebook starts getting weird, head over to YouTube. It's youtube.com slash mommyboutique. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that little bell. Yeah, that's Facebook for you. They they do that a lot to me. They don't like me for some reason. <laughs> I've been in Facebook jail more, more times than I'm willing to admit. A 
I'm so excited. I love the tree charm I got from you. So I'm excited to have more pearls to put in it. Yay! Great. I'm so excited too, Zanna. Thank you so much for playing. I appreciate it. Number five, my favorite number of all time. Five is actually my favorite number because when I was in elementary school, I played softball and five was my number. Look at her. She got a shock. Kelly, Kelly. Wow. You guys, Kelly just won super big. She not only got, that's my first game, won the Sissy Poo package with a $90 value. She spent more than $50, which gave her a free oyster on me. And then she also won the pre-oyster, <clears throat> the pre-order pre shuck. So she got another free oyster and she just won another free oyster. Ding, 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 ding. You guys, Kelly has got the luck. Kelly, you need to go play the lotto, girl. All righty. So I didn't add any new ones. We'll just use these up until we go a little bit need more. Okay, so we have a paint palette, a splash of water or water drops, the yellow fishy, and the pink fishy. Play five in lotto. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I have three different sets of shells. Um, so depending on which ones I use, they all have different, because I know some some of you guys have played the shells game quite often, but I have three different sets. So you want the water drop. You got it. This one's actually really cool. It's what I was talking about earlier because it actually has a shell on a shell. So <clears throat> kind of interested to see what that looks like. You guys, you win big over here at Mommy Boutique. Tell your friends. <laughs> All right, check this out. Look. There is an actual shell on the shell. She says, how are you, Vicky? So I don't know if this is like, oh, look at it. It's like attached. It totally is. I almost wonder if it's alive, although it probably isn't because these guys are soaked in alcohol. Look at that. It's just like it's actually stuck to the shell. I can't get it off. How weird is that? It's one of those little um, shells that you see at the beach all the time. Oh, I wonder if there's a pearl in that. No, just kidding. I don't know. I'm going to say it's probably dead because, because of uh, it being soaked in alcohol. All right. Isn't that cool? All right. So are you still hoping for a purple or a blue? I'm so funny. I always stick my tongue out. I was just watching. <laughs> Oh, I already pulled that one off, actually. That little shell, I pulled it off. I'm sorry. I mean, I can always find it for you. It's right here, but I wanted to see it. Yeah, sorry. I pulled it off of that already. I mean, I can still take, I, you can still take that side. I'll clean it for you. All right, so what color do you want in this one, Kelly? Cause you light up my life. You gave me hope to carry on. Just waiting on Kelly. Let me know what color you want to get tonight and then I'll open it up. All right. One, two, three for luck. 
I'm guessing maybe a blue or a purple like before. You light up my days and fill my night with song. A purple or a blue. All right. <laughs> that sound. It reminds me like this. The reason I do that sound is because it reminds me of uh, Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, the new one. And um, that's what he does when he calls his little Oompa Loompas. He's like, Boop. I don't know. That's what it reminds me of. This one opened really weird. Kelly, I'm not going to be able to save the shell for you. It's like cracking. Although you have a ton of shells that I can fish out. So I'm not worried. Okay. Hopefully I don't cut my fingers. Here we go. See, it kind of like cracks. So it looks kind of funny. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, a really pretty. Oh, you got another pumpkin spice. Oh, you got one of those the other day. Those are really pretty. Perfect for the October season coming up. A pumpkin spice. I don't really see a lot of those. So those pumpkin spices are kind of rare. <laughs> Ooh, it's very, very pretty. Clean all that goop off of it. No purple or blue, sorry, but you did get a really pretty pumpkin spice. Although you can always trade. We do have a, no, we don't. We did have a purple. We do not have a purple in there anymore. I think we got rid of it a couple days ago. Although we might have one in our other orphanage. Okay, let's see. This one is a 6.7. Angel, are you still here? Are you still watching? All right. A beautiful pumpkin spice. It's like a really nice orange gold color. Makes you want a pumpkin spice latte. Mmm, -hmm. pumpkin spice. You sure can. Absolutely. You can see the orphans. Showing you this pumpkin spice. Look at how gorgeous. Okay. So the orphans, we do have that really pretty pink one that Zana just added to the bunch over here too. I know you like your pinks. Okay. So here's the orphans. Just give it a second to focus. Does it look better when I put the screen on here, you guys? You have to tell me because I can't, like on my end it does, but I don't know if it looks better on your end because on my end it makes it look like the colors pop a little bit better when I put it on there. It still takes me a minute to get it unblurry, so just give me a second. Hold on. It's blurry now. <laughs> nope, it's blurry now. Never mind. Sorry, with or without, apparently. Okay. Hold on. Hold on, Kelly. Hold on. Hold on. We'll lift it up a little. Let's see if that helps. There we go. You can see the colors a little bit better, but it's still really blurry. Aha. Right there, that's the sweet pot, sweet spot. Don't move, don't move, don't move. <laughs> so we have those two whites. We have that uh, rose, rose pink. We have the baby pink, that white one. That really, really dark one next to it is actually like a peacock color. It looks kind of black. We have a silvery, and then we have another green there on the end.
All right. Did you see any that you liked? Fourth one pink for the white one. One, two, three, four. So you want that baby doll pink? You want, hold on, just want to make sure I get the right one for you. Why do you do this to me, camera? Why do you hate me, camera? Okay, one more time. Hold on. Hold on. So you want the one that Xana traded. This one, right? This one, right? <laughs> this one right here. There, we got it. We got it. I'm going to put it here so we know that this is the one. The one that I stuck in front of the other one that just decided to go rolling. So the one that I moved, that light pink one. Yes, 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 she says yes. All right, so you're keeping, you're keeping your um, pumpkin spice, right? And we're going to trade it for that white one. Oh, thank you, Angel. I appreciate that, darling. Beth, it's good to see you. Isn't that one really pretty, Beth? I agree. You want to keep the pumpkin, and we're going to trade it for the white one. Okay. I think it was that one. You like that champagne one, right? So we'll show you really quick what all your colors look like. This was the white one. Trading that one. There's your Edison. All right, I'm going to get your colors really quick. Hi, Vicki. Thank you, Angel. Thank you, Beth. Thank you, Amy. All right. Just checking on something. All right, let me show you all of your new colors or all your colors together, Kelly, really quickly. And we will move on over now, you guys. Oh, have you been watching for a while, Beth? Well, thank you for commenting. I appreciate it. Who invited you or how did you find me? I'm so glad to see that you're here this evening. Welcome to the party. I'm a little off tonight, Beth. I do apologize. Um, I've been cleaning out my mom's sheds um, and she recently passed away. So I've kind of been having a hard day. Um, I'm not my normal cheery self. <laughs> But I am here and I am loving it. And I'm loving you guys for being here with me. So thank you. All right. So here's your new ones. Whoops. Ugh. Here's your new ones, Kelly. There's your lineup. Ooh, how pretty. Hold on. My camera is just really acting really strange. So I bought this camera thinking that it was awesome because it's a face recognition camera. And a lot of the YouTubers actually uh, use this camera when they do their YouTube videos. But what I didn't realize is that it try and find it tries to find my face no matter where I go. So if it's not looking at my face, everything else ends up being blurry. Wow, look at those colors. Gorgeous. It's funny that champagne on the end actually kind of looks similar to your pumpkin spice, even though the pumpkin spice is darker. Beautiful. I'm loving it. Great job. All right. So we're going to take a quick photo for the YouTube, not the YouTube, the Facebook. Oh, you invited Yammy. Thank you for inviting Yammy. Oh, Yammy, I'll tell you all about it. So these are Kelly's pearls and how she got these pearls is she went over to my website, which is mommyboutique.net. And um, just depending on what you want to order, she ordered that to my purse game. These are real pearls. Genuine, fabulous pearls. Aren't those gorgeous, Amy? Well, thank you for joining us, Yami. I'll tell you all about it. Just let me take a quick picture for Kelly. Every time you order, we put the, po the photos up on the Facebook page so you guys can see your beauties after the party's over. Okay, let me put all these away for you. I didn't put your twins in there this time. They're in a separate bag. She also got twins tonight, you guys. Beautiful light blue twins. 
Kelly, she got the mother load tonight. She played That's My Purse game, which is a game where you get to pick out your purse. It's a $40 game. Um, and then there's prizes inside. So she got a really big prize. And um, that's how she got so many of those gorgeous pearls. All right, there you go. Thank you for that. All right, so how it works, Jamie, is um, you can head over to my website, mommyboutique.net. Um, we have one oyster for 23, three for 60, or five for 90. We are doing a special where you get four for 60 and six for 90 tonight, as well as $15 orphans. Uh, usually the orphans cost the same as the oysters, which are 23, but these are our orphans tonight. Um, and the reason these are on sale is because they do have some discolorations. Um, except for all of these dark ones right here. These are all perfect. There's nothing wrong with those whatsoever. These ones over here are like lighter on the top, darker on the back. So that's what those are. So these are all $15 if you want to get any of these. If you'd like to do a bundle, uh, which is where you get to open up an oyster and choose your jewelry, uh, that's $32. So um, you can get whatever necklace you want. Um, and then we also have our bangle bracelets, which I had to take off because I was doing um, our opening. But this is our bangle bracelet. These are $15. So if you wanted to get one of these, you would just go to the website and um, put a bangle bracelet. You get to choose whatever charm you want on your bangle. Also, if you want to do the orphan sale for the $15, uh, just ring up a bangle bracelet because it's the same price and just put in the notes that you want the orphan. So that's pretty much how it works, Yami. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Yeah, those are really beautiful. Yay. All right, guys, we are still taking live orders. Let me check and see um, if we have any more. Also, Yami, if you share this video on your Facebook page and make sure that it is um, public and not private, you get entered into win one of our orphan pearls. And our orphan pearls... Um, Sorry, I was just reading my message. Uh, our orphan pearls are these right here. These are freshwater pearls. So they're a little different than our other ones. The other ones are saltwater pearls. But there's no purchase necessary to win one of these. All you have to do is like Mommy Boutique page, share this video, and um, come back and let me know that you did that. And then if you are here when we call your name, you win. That's it. That's all you have to do to win. So... Wow, Vicky has over 70 pearls. You could probably definitely make a necklace, like a really pretty necklace or even like a double bracelet. Yeah, or an anklet. Although I don't know if I'd want to wear pearls on my ankle just because I'd be afraid that like I'd mess them up or something. You're very welcome. Let me know if you have any questions. We are going to be doing our raffle here shortly. So let me know if anybody else wants to order. Yes, exactly. What are you going to do with all those pearls, Vicki? Yeah, I can't wait to start drilling the um, stuff. I did turn my drill on the first time the other day, but I wasn't able to actually start drilling because the baby uh, was getting upset. So it's hard. It's hard for me to do it because it's like when I start, um, you know, with three kids, something comes up. So I got to definitely make time to start drilling my pearls. Oh, cool. I will definitely do that, Vicki. I'll make a bracelet for you. Um, we'll talk about that, The about sending me the pearls. Um, I just, we have to be careful about that because I don't want them getting lost. And I've actually had, um, I've actually had somebody tell me that their pearls got lost in the mail. I, you know, with the tracking and everything. So um, thankfully it all worked out, but I'm really scared. I'm like, I don't want you guys sending me your pearls and then getting lost in the mail. And you know, pearls are irreplaceable. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm scared. I'm scared for you guys to send me your pearls back because I'm afraid they won't get here. So we might have to work something out where we do like, you know, tracking of some sort. Oh, thank you. I do have a link, uh, Yami, right here in the comments if you want to click on it and then you can see everything. All right, guys. Are you ready? Because does it okay before we start? Does anybody else want to do an order before we do our uh, raffle? Because once we do the raffle, the party's over. Uh, Yami, just so you know, I come on every Monday, 
Wednesday and Thursday evenings at 9 p.m. I will be here tomorrow. I will be here on Friday, my bad. I will be here on Friday this week. Um, it might be a little later. It might be closer towards the 930 hour just because I do have Girl Scouts on Fridays. Um, and I'm not sure um, how late we're going to be getting in. And Fridays are not my normal nights, but I did have a request to come on on Friday. So I will be here Friday, um, 930. Now, here's something that we don't really talk about a lot, but you guys ask me once in a while. You guys can also do parties. That's right. So if you want to do your own pearl party. What we do is we create a group just for you. So let's say it's Yammy's, Yammy's Pearl Party. What she does is pick a day that she wants her Pearl Party to be on. And we start setting up that group with that uh, within that week. So that week we set up the group. We start talking about our oysters, telling people about them. And then if she gets $150 worth of sales from her party, then she gets a whole ton of free pearls just for having the party or free necklaces or free purses or whatever the prizes are. So um, that's definitely something that if you guys want to look into that, there's no cost for that. All you have to do is just set up the party um, and I will do the rest. So, um, so that's a really fun way for you guys to add some rewards and get some free pearls. If that's something that you're interested in. And then um, yes, Kelly Christmas gifts for the grandkids. Yep. Um, also I do, I do parties where I go to events and I come to you if you are local, which means if you're in, um, you know, 45 minute radius of me, I am in the Claremont area, but closer to like, you know, that area. Um, I will kind of travel to Orlando if I need to, but, uh, for the most part, I like to stay local cause I do have kids. And for those parties, um, you do have to purchase, um, a, a package that's at least uh, 150 to 200 dollars for me to do those. So just so you know, but the online parties are no cost to you. If you get 150 dollars in orders, then you get prizes. If you don't get 150 dollars in orders, you still get a prize um, for having your party. So you'll still get something. It may not be a pearl, but you'll still get something from me, a gift from me for having your party. So. In case you guys want to do that, let me know. We can set up pearl parties anytime. We set up a group that's made just for you. And then we set up a time and date to do your party. And I go live just like this, but it's going to be on the group that's created for you. So only your members can see it. So it'd be a lot of fun. And again, I post facts and things on your page um, to get people involved, games and such, lots of fun stuff. So if you guys want to do that, uh, just send me a PM, send me a message, let me know. And uh, we can set something like that up. All right. Are you guys ready to do our orphan raffle? Woohoo! Orphan raffle. All right. Let me make sure I have everybody. We got some new members in here that I did not add. Yammy shared. Okay. So you're going into the raffle. Thank you, Yammy. And Angel is here. Angel actually won the orphan pearl last week. And I got Amy. And Beth, Beth is here. That's right. Beth is not new, she said. She's been here before, but this is the first time that she'll be entered into the raffle. Okay. <clears throat> now I have my phone tonight so I can actually do the, the raffle the right way. Whenever I had to, I used my phone the other day because my um, internet went out and I had to use my phone so I wasn't able to do the raffle the right way. Okay. Here we go, you guys. Good luck. Good luck to everyone. Thanks for joining me this evening. Let's see who's going to win our Orphan Pearl. All right. So today is the 12th. I usually. September 12th. I usually date it. So that's the name of my post. Okay. We have Kelly first tonight. Zana. Raquel, which I don't know if she's still here. She's been very quiet this evening. And Amy and Beth. Thank you for joining us, Beth and Yami. We have Angel and Vicky. Okay, did I miss anybody? Oh, there's, Ra there's Raquel. She's here. She's just over there on YouTube. Okay. All right, did I miss anybody? Please let me know. I want to make sure that I got everybody. Oh, Sierra. Sierra is here. I don't know if she's still here. Let me get Sierra in here. Sierra, I see that Sierra is here. She shared. All right, did I miss anybody?
Nobody's yelling at me. I'll give you a few seconds to make sure. <laughs> All right. Nobody's yelling. So I think we're good. All right, guys. Good luck. May the odds be ever in your favor. And choose. <gasps> Zana! Woohoo! Congratulations to our orphan winner, Zana. All right, Zana, because you're our big winner tonight, you already played That's My First Game. I'm going to let you choose your orphan. Normally, we pick a number from 1 to 10, and I tell you which one you win. We have three orphans tonight. One that is like a champagne color there on the end. And those two white ones, one is like a um, like a pill shaped in the middle. Uh, the other one is like more like a bullet shape, I guess. And then, of course, that champagne one. Um, that one looks, I guess, just kind of like a fat finger <laughs> shape. <laughs> Angel says, congratulations. All right, Zana, you can choose which one you want. We'll number them. So that champagne one will be one. The one in the middle will be two. The one on the end will be three. The champagne one, you got it. Congratulations. So he kind of looks a little bit like a snowman. He's got some little divots in them. A lot of the freshwater pearls that you guys will find usually always have some type of blemishes or uh, divots. Divots are how, how they're made. There's your orphan. I almost feel like that puts more of a shadow on it. There she is. 